Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update. I can't believe it, two years I've managed to avoid getting Covid and finally uh, this week it has struck me down, so absolutely infuriating, but I suppose it was inevitable that it was going to happen at some stage. Um, at least with the virtual way of working, we've been able to keep in touch and, and join meetings as, as needed. And a huge relief this week, I have to say, to finally get clarification uh, on farming rules for water and the fact that we will be able to use uh, organic manures in the autumn is just a huge relief with spiralling uh, input costs that we've never seen the like of before. Um, fertiliser, nitrogen fertiliser costing five times more than it did this time last year. That That is extremely helpful to have in place, as is also the situation um, with uh, solid urea. And I've got to say a huge thank you to Tom Bradshaw, Deputy President, who's been on this road for a very long time. Even as Crops Board Chairman, he was focusing on how do we find a, an industry led uh, approach to the use of solid urea. And so working with AIC and others, um, government has accepted uh, effectively that model, but importantly, delayed the implementation of the self-regulation until uh, 2023. So. A good result for us and what we've been asking for on, on your behalf, it doesn't, of course, deal with a massive gap um, on the loss of, of nitrogen fertiliser that the industry is facing. We're looking at 744 million, I think, the costs of, of fertiliser at the moment, a huge cost. Um, I still say absolutely resolutely behind uh, our ask of government to delay the cutting of direct support. Um, I do think it would be the quickest and simplest way of providing some level of certainty on cash flow to the industry. It was a real danger that if they look to bring in other schemes, we're in April and it will be too little too late. So I'm delighted that Labour have said publicly now that they support the NFU on this and we will keep uh, engaging and, and pushing the Conservative government to please, please look at it. Um, I'm also pleased to have got clarification. It might seem a small thing, but I've had many calls from members who wanted clarification on red diesel for tractor runs, rallies, and really pleased that the Treasury have um, confirmed that red diesel will be able to be used. Um, so it's nice to have that, that clarification there. Um, meetings with retailers continue. Um, it's a really important discussion. I, I'm incredibly concerned about how we maintain the level of production. Um, all I can see at the moment is danger that the industry contracts um, to shore up its risk and, and government has a huge role to play in this as does every part of that supply chain. So it's really pleasing when I spoke to George Eustace this week that he has committed to enhance the role of a market management core group which is something we've been calling for to bring industry experts together to look at how we might intervene in the market, what we might do. I mean, seemingly to me, the, the price of gas is, is a big, big issue, but at least it's not Russian gas. And there are ways and means of making sure um, that we make the gas market work effectively for, for the food industry. Um, so as ever, uh, a lot going on. And I hope, unlike me, uh, that you are fit and well and not suffering from this um, frustrating shall we say uh, and inconvenient it feels like a bad cold but um, anyway there we go such is life take care and I really look forward to speaking to you next week